In this video, we visit a bit of Egypt on the bank of the Thames. It's Cleopatra's Needle. Are you ready? Stick with us. Here we go. Situated between Waterloo and the Golden Jubilee Bridges, Cleopatra's Needle is very, very close to Embankment Station. Two bronze-cast Egyptian sphinxes both guard the needle here on the north bank of the Thames. Cleopatra's Needle is 3,500 years old, which is the same date as these hieroglyphics, which are on all faces of the needle. It wasn't until 1878 that Cleopatra's Needle arrived in London and was put up here at this place. Originally, it was to go outside the Houses of Parliament but got rejected. On its transportation from Egypt to London, it was dragged behind a boat in a large cylinder. This plaque commemorates the six people who lost their lives in the transportation to London. The needle is made out of granite and it was originally erected in 1450 BC. In 12 BC, the column was moved and placed in a temple built by Cleopatra in honour of Mark Antony or Julius Caesar. These 3,000 year old original inscriptions survive today because at some time later, the temple was toppled and the granite obelisk had the fortuitous effect of burying itself into sand and was later found, so the hieroglyphics weren't ruined by weathering. When the obelisk was put up here in London in 1878, a time capsule was concealed in the front part of the pedestal. In it are various bits of memorabilia from the day, including photographs, boxes of hairpins and cigars and various pipes. If you like your history in London, not much is going to beat this three and a half thousand year old piece of granite coming from Egypt to London. If you love all things historical in London, then click on the playlist up in the top right hand corner where I've got other videos from history here in London. So if you click on those, I'll see you in there very shortly.